What's up everybody, welcome back to the Smithy. Today I have a tiny little filler video for you that I think you will enjoy that involves this piece of metal. Um, if y'all follow me on Instagram or in on, on Facebook in any of the major clone trooper groups or Star Wars groups, uh, or you pay attention to those types of groups on Reddit, you will have probably seen images of this. Um, I waited about, well I took about four or five weeks to get this made for me, uh, company did it at my request so that I could up my armor smithing game for my helmets in a very specific way. So we are going to upgrade this part, this steel piece of my helmet uh, in a minor way, something I've been looking forward to. And yeah, it's going to be a short little video. I'm going to take this off and we'll see how long it takes me to actually do it. Uh, but it's going to be a great end result, so let's go ahead and run out to the shop. I'm not going to give you a lot of details as to what I'm doing. I'd rather let y'all see it in the end and uh, see the comparison and uh, be excited about it. So, all right, let's run out there. Before we continue, I just want to say y'all should be following me on Instagram and friends with me on Facebook uh, or be a part of the various uh, and popular Star Wars slash clone groups on Facebook. If you are, you'll see my stuff up in there. Uh, but the reason I say that is because if y'all like my content, then these are really good ways for you to see more of it that doesn't end up in videos, like this 3D printed wall panel I did. It's nothing crazy. It did not deserve a video, but it's cool. It makes my space feel more troopery. Um, or this little one that's related, similar, serves a function. Things like that. I'm not making a video for those, but if you follow me on, if you follow me, friends with me, or part of those communities, you'll end up seeing that stuff. Uh, I post in there quite frequently because I do make small projects like this. Um, you can also be a part of the various Star Wars subreddits. Uh, I'm in most of the more active ones, uh, the bigger ones. So, just a little shameless plug. If y'all want to see more content from me, and for, remember, don't forget to like and subscribe. But now that that shameless promoting is done, I get back to the video. All right, this is such a quick little project that I really don't think y'all are gonna need a time lapse, so. Here's the nice steel plate with its beautiful hole cut out. I'm gonna set it on top of my anvil. Set this on there. And then hammer it and make you watch from over there, no. Uh, let me change my camera angle here so you guys can actually see this shot. I worry quite often that y'all never get to see the really good shots. So I'm going to try and give you a good one this time. And not hit the camera with my hammer. I feel like I'm pretty, I can do that. So let's get started. Now it's harder to do it this way because at this stage the, uh, old lines I had on this thing that marked it. Oh, hold on. I just, I almost forgot. I'm putting in hearing protection because this is loud. And for you guys, I'm actually going to cut the volume down quite a bit. Otherwise, you wouldn't want to watch the video because it's loud and it's a sharp sound. Oh, let's see here. But what I was saying was, this isn't as easy now because the old lines I had on this thing that marked the very center of it are for the most part gone, but I'll be able to get close enough that it won't matter. camera for you. Alright, now we'll do it on the vise. That way I can have this thing secured. 
Yes, the jaw is open that wide. I already tried it. I already tested it. All right, resume. nice and hot I just took a nice shower this morning but here we go we can see the lovely paint that has now been burned off and is actually flaking off and I'll have to sand off but I knew that was gonna happen it looks so pretty right wrong no it's ugly but it's not done yet let me real quick first of all let me raise y'all's camera a little bit If you're a blacksmith like me, even if you're a novice blacksmith like me, you will quickly uh, gain the reflex of, with th of when things start to fall, your feet automatically get out of the way because you know what's coming. This will be an interesting one. So I gotta put in the flat surface now. Let me see. There we go. Whoop. All right. The whole time I must be cautious and aware that metal is hot. But here we go. Again, music. So that's the back has been pretty well flattened now. Whoop. Yeah, there we go. Yep, so the back has been pretty well flattened. Uh, I now need to try and flatten the sides a little bit. Let's see who of my tools is up for that job, if any. My gut tells me to go with this one first, but honestly, I don't know if that's gonna work. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Tricky. Woo! Woo! Lovely weather. I gotta say, I grew up in Mississippi and I'm absolutely used to the sweating and the, all that wonderfulness of the summer, but uh, if I'm being honest, I really like doing this sort of stuff during the winter since my shop isn't climate controlled. When I do this in the winter, that means I get, it gets, it's usually a little bit colder out in the winter, but that also means that when I start doing stuff like this, the physical, physical activity warms me up, 
and the cold temperature keeps me from sweating, which is fantastic. During the summer, like now, I don't have anything to drop my body temp to help me drop my body temperature and keep me from sweating so profusely, but oh well, it's worth it to get this done. Back to music. All right, some off-screen adjustments there. Whew, it's not perfectly centered, but it's pretty close. When it's on the helmet, it's hard to notice a mis the mistake or the inaccuracy. It's hard. It's it's not something I necessarily call a mistake just because it's the first time I've done it and things like this take practice. On the helmet, it actually looks pretty dang good. All right, anyway, let's finish up grinding, and then we'll sand it real quick, and then paint it. This is turning into a longer video than I was expecting it to be. 
but that's not the worst thing in the world. I have, it has been a minute since I put up a good video, so. Say la vie. Now, this is not perfect, but this is really good first attempt. And it's such a, such a big improvement over the previous version. Like, this now actually looks pretty screen accurate. I mean, it doesn't look like it was stamped in a factory where clone armor is mass produced, but it still looks pretty dang nice. And so, once I have the paint sanded, just enough to get off the score, the carbon and all the scoring, once I have this sanded down just a little bit, I'm going to hit it with some more primer to cover up the area that was disturbed. And then we'll call it, you know, we'll call this, this video done. And that is important because I intend to wear this to a costume contest for May the 4th at a local, I call it a nerd bar because it's a nerd bar. That is who it was designed by and for and you walk in and that's your first thought, nerd bar. It's an awesome place. And if any of y'all live around Jackson, Mississippi, there's not a lot of places like that, so you could probably figure out which one it is. painting. All right, so that's it for y'all. I'll do a few passes of that, just making sure it's nice and uniform, and then we'll be done and ready for May the 4th. So here is y'all's finished shot and the before and after. So I have finished, as I said last night, only other thing to do was to, uh, let me get the camera right, was to uh, put a few more coats of paint on there. That's all I did. I just let the paint dry a little bit, sanded some areas smooth, put more, another coat on there, just did that mm, four times or so. And now, there we go. So it's not perfect, but it's a serious improvement. I mean, this is a real improvement, a big upgrade. I know it seems like such a small thing, but as you saw from the before pictures, I tried to do a version of this before and I just couldn't without the tool. So I had to get the tool made. It took time and money to get the tool made. So this is a cool upgrade. And I got that tool made for the specific intent purpose that when I make more of these helmets, like my commission helmet, I can pretty easily make a duplicate. I can quickly and easily make an almost exact duplicate. That's the re that's the reasoning behind this. I probably could have figured out a way to done it otherwise, but I wanted to make my actions repeatable. So, looks pretty good. Looks strange from the side to some degree, just the helmet overall, but it really adds a nice level of detail, extra authenticity. Uh, I'll give you a side by side shot here. So these are. The two, 
And the shapes are actually almost, well, this is the 3D model that I used. Um, I modeled it off this. They are almost identical. They are so close that it's hard to tell the difference um, when you're looking at them. Use my calipers and everything. So this went in and was part of making this. See, it fits almost perfectly in there almost completely flush so that was turned into that which then helped make that which helped make that so these two shapes are actually really close they are very very close not identical but that's okay um this thing isn't perfect but it you know it takes a scrutinizing eye to really see it it still looks so so much better than the original um i'm so happy now, because of the way I formed the steel and to the extent I did it, that means the steel in this area is now a bit thinner and can't take as much impact. To what extent that is true or to what, to what extent um, the strength is reduced because the metal is now thinner, I'm not sure. I don't really want to give it an impact test. I just know it is from working it and from my knowledge of armor smithing and how all that works. Um, so this is definitely thinner and able to withstand less in this area, but definitely a cool and worthwhile upgrade for my commission helmet. Uh, now that I can do this, that is what I'll be doing. And I did buy, I did get that tool made for me with the express idea that it would be used on my helmet and on my commission helmet or any others that I make. But that's, uh, just... A quick upgrade, but a very, very cool and worthwhile one. Let me spin you two back around. So, I will be actually wearing my kit, my full kit, um, to May the 4th. Uh, there's a local, I call it a nerd bar, in my hometown in uh, Mississippi. Um, I'll be wearing, there's a costume contest, the, Legion, the 501st is going to be there. I'm going to wear my kit. It, to the extent I have it set up um, and go and eat and be a part of that and have fun and so I'm really glad I got to get this portion done uh, in time for that that's just gonna make you know this make me happy and it'll make the helmet look a little bit cooler in person but um, y'all should get some photos of that uh, I'm actually today is May the 3rd I am planning on this video going up on May the 4th so it can be my May the 4th video so what I'm saying is, uh, today, the day you are watching this, I will be, um, in the afternoon, in the evening, I'll be going out to, uh, the nerd bar, the nerd restaurant, um, and I'll take some photos, I'll get some photos taken and post them, um, and nerd bar, nerd restaurant is very apt for this place. It's awesome. Um, if you, uh, if you live in Jackson, Mississippi, or around Jackson, Mississippi, there's not many places that are a nerd bar or a nerd restaurant. Um, like this is, but <sighs> all right. So I know it's a short video. I know it doesn't seem like it's that much in the grand scheme of things. And I guess admittedly it probably isn't, but it's an important step in upgrading the helmet. This is what I have been trying to do lately with my helmet and with my commission helmet over here. I've just been slowly engineering ways to upgrade the helmet and make it that much nicer make it that more realistic um so keep an eye out for more awesome stuff like this i'm still working like crazy on all my stuff especially my commission the commission's taken up most of my time lately um but just be on the lookout don't forget like subscribe share comment and go follow me on instagram or friend me on facebook or just join the star wars and clone groups on facebook if you're a Reddit person, join those communities and keep an eye out. You know, it's always fun just to see other people's creations. I'm not on those, I'm not in those communities just to share my stuff. I genuinely enjoy seeing what other people make. I ask a lot of questions. I get helpful tips and comments. I use them as a serious resource and it's a fun community just to be a part of. So if you're interested in more stuff from me and other awesome creators, go check out all those places. And until next time, May the 4th be with you.